Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new Duel Links video. I want to discuss the new ban list that's coming out to Duel Links and changes to the newest skills. Let's go check it out, boys. So in the message box, we got some brand new information that is very intriguing to anyone that is currently playing Duel Links right now. So first of all, the Duel Ranked Duel Session is going to end in four days. We don't really care too much about that. Um, there's a concern with the um, 7.0 update. I haven't read this yet, but we'll get on to what the video is talking about. But I want to read this real quick for you guys. Um, attention duelists, the below issue uh, has been occurring within the 1.70 update. When switching characters, the currently selected deck is switched to the first one. Fix this issue is currently we're working on. That's inconvenient. Um, messages... Um, this issue is... Okay, so global chat's getting worked on. I'm just skimming through this. Sorry about that. There's nether stuff about character voiceover is not playing, replaying duels, and then this effect right here that's apparently stopping people from farming against, um, doing the farming against, um, Bacora is not going too well because of these issues. And apparently one, issue one and two is fixed, that's good, and three is still being worked on, that sucks. Okay, so that's some uh, bugs that they're trying to fix on, but what we're really here for is the forbidden and limited list and skill balance coming to Duel Links. Please, so attention duelists, the implementation of a forbidden slash limited list in rebalancing of skills are planned prior on the date listed below, August 3rd. Please see below for the changes that are going to be made and our reasoning behind these changes. So a new ban list is coming out on August 3rd. That is awesome. So far, we only have one card on the forbidden list. Let's go read on here. Um, so Restructor's Revolution. This is a rarity. It's normal. Oh, that's what end means. It's a normal. I never knew that. That's, that's news to me. The end means normal. Okay. And... Dual Links is going to be limiting this card to one. That's what limited is because it's banned, limited, and semi-limited. Semi so right now, Restructure's Evolution is planned to be limited when the ban list comes out on August 3rd. Um, let's read why they did that. This card has been a high chance of dealing a large amount of dam effect damage early on in the duel. We decided to limit this card so players can enjoy dueling in a better balanced environment. As mentioned in the Forbidden Limited list details, the lineup of the Forbidden Limited list is not permanent and it's subject to change based on the metagame. Um, in addition, there may be special duels in the future that do not um, abide by the Forbidden Limited list, so be cautious when converting cards. So that's it for now. They're only confirming that Restructure's Revolution is going to be limited, which will stop Taya Burn dramatically, because that is the clutch card for Taya Burn decks, so I am glad they're going to be limiting this. So anyone that's still playing Taya Burn, you're going to want to play the heck out of her before um, this card gets limited on August 3rd. Next up, these are huge. These skills are being changed right now my boys skill rebalancing so they're going to be rebalancing um, some of the skills in the game and this is a huge change for my valentine rip my valentine not actually i'm not going to say rip it's just going to help balance the game um so with my valentine skill harpies hunting ground compared to other skills this skill is too often created a large card advantage for the player using it leading to our decision to downgrade it however due to the fact that this skill has to be used for a specific set of cards to be effective we have altered it in the way that adds more fertility to how it's used so right now we're like reading like why they're doing the change and then once we get down to there it'll tell us how they updated it next up with we your boy weevil with his parasite infestation we feel a parasite infestation was a good representation on the Weevil Underwood's CD convening nature. However, adding three Parasite Parasite to the opponent deck has been proven too powerful. And considering the fact that Weevil only added two Parasite Parasite to Joey's deck in the manga, we decreased the number of Parasite um, Parasite Parasite that will be added to the opponent's deck. That's like a tongue twister right there. That's nice that they're limiting this, okay? I'm really glad they're doing that. It's not going to kill Weevil by any means, like his whole deck and how it's built, but it is going to dramatically, not dramatically, but just it's balanced. They're doing some balances. This one's going to be pretty interesting for anyone that plays fairies. He's just to Istar's skill, Fairy Smile. Out of all the character specific skills, Fairy Smile was the least used skill, which reflected on Ishisu being a duelist without many strong points to speak of. In response to that, the amount of skill heals have been increased, creating synergy with cards that use life points. So, I already read what it update is, and this, this is good for Fairy, but we'll get on to it. I'm just reading the reasons. Next up, Paradox Skills 3 Star to Motion. Paying 2,000 life points is too low for summoning top-level monsters to, exp to express the brother's tendency in getting... Betting everything on their gate guardian, the cost has been increased to 3,000 points. Bro, three star demotion is a rip, my boys. That's that actually like kills three star demotion so bad. 
three star demotions like only use once it, it really is it's it's unless you're running unless you have two supremacy barriers that's rip so anyways that let that's just freaking crazy but let's go talk about the current and update versions so these are how the skills are going to be rebalanced so currently uh, with my hum, um hunting harpy's hunting ground you begin the duel with the field spell harpy's hunting ground now when it gets updated you begin the duel with the field spell card harpy's hunting ground on the top of your deck that's really good because i i watched shady penguins video talking about this a little bit first of all cards um if you go first turn with cards that can mill your opponent's top a uh, couple top cards in your deck that's gonna kill the mai's hunting ground it really is and then on the same time if mai starts on the game she gets to play her harpy's hunting ground right away if she wants to so it's kind of a balance of power i think this is a really good change it doesn't make harpy's hunting ground broke anymore it just makes a balance where it's still usable because it can still be very scary to like go against still but that means that Mai has to deal with one less card that she could possibly have in her hand because of that so yeah and like if you go first turn yeah now think about it. if you go first turn you only have four cards so it's not gonna break it by any means it's just gonna slow it down a lot because before it was so overpowered so this is a really good change i think anybody that plays um harpy's hunting ground would agree with this change because it does bounce the game really well after starting hands are dealt so let's read the uh weevil's ability i started reading that for no reason but after the starting hands are dealt a random number of parasite parasite cards are added to opponent's deck face up it's going to be updated to after the starting hands are dealt one or two parasite parasite cards are added to your opponent's deck face up so it's good so basically they're just dropping it down by one you're still gonna get one still gonna get two in there but it's not three anymore which is nice nothing too game breaking and i think weevil players are already kind of used to dealing with only one or having two in their deck i don't feel like weevil players are going to be too pissed off about it it's just balancing it's good balancing now this one's going to be interesting and i feel like people are going to play fairy type a lot more now so for each choose that I can't freaking pronounce her name, but her skill, her fairy smile. If you draw a normal, if you draw, if you normal draw a fairy type monster card during the draw phase, um, this card, the this the card is shown to the opponent, and you recover 500 life points. Now it's updated to, if you normal draw a fairy type monster during your draw phase, the card is shown to your opponent, and you recover a thousand life points. I think that's not bad at all. You draw a fairy type monster, you get a thousand light points. That's pretty good. And comboed with the fact that fairy monsters like to gain life in the first place. I feel like that's something to somewhat worry about. I like that change. I hope fairy type decks are more valuable now. Yeah, I've been talking too much. Got my voice back. There we go. Currently for three star demotion. Um, three star demotion can be paid by playing paying through two thousand light points. Till the end phase, reduce the levels of all monsters in the end by three by three. Skill can only be used once per turn. So this skill pretty freaking broke in a sense. It it really was. This skill is really broke. If you had supremacy berry, seven star monsters, you summon a strong monster like that. But now it's updated to this can be used by paying three thousand life points. Till the end phase, reduce the level of all monsters in the end by three. Skill can only be used once per turn. By do by capping it up to three thousand, even when your opponent, when like anyone's using Paradox Brothers and goes down to a thousand life points, even if they pop Supremacy Berry, they're only going to be at three thousand. They can't pay the three star emotion cost if it's at three thousand. You see what I mean? So I feel like um it's going to help a lot, honestly. Now personally, I feel like it wouldn't be too bad if it, the cost was twenty five hundred instead of three thousand. Um, thinking of it on the top of my head, so you go down to fifteen hundred. Then you do Supremacy Berry, 3,500, do it again, then you're back down 1,000. Actually, 2,500 wouldn't really, it would still be pretty broken. You'd just be at lower life points. Yeah, I was thinking about 2,500, but if you do the math, Supremacy Berry gets you up enough, so maybe 2,500 wouldn't be that good. But 3,000 seems to be the um, sweet spot for that. So, yeah, these rebalance are going to be awesome for the whole meta of dual links. It's going to definitely help out balance the game because going against those decks were really top tier and it didn't give people the chance to win. But I'm glad that they're balancing it to the point where they're not completely breaking it. Now, I feel like three-star demotion is getting hit pretty hard where it's not going to be used anymore. But I still feel like people that are using Harpy's Hunting Grounds and Parasite Infusion decks are still going to be able to survive in the high ladder. But three-star demotion, I think that's a rip for that boy. But I, I wouldn't know because I don't play the deck. But if you guys did enjoy this discussion video on the Forbidden list, 
list and the new forbidden list and the updates to the skills in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. But that should be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Adios.